This is Sadie Valeri, and I would like to welcome you to my instructional video, Indirect Oil Painting. I'd like to talk a little bit about the difference between indirect painting and direct painting. With direct oil painting, every single stroke that you put down could potentially be seen in the final painting. Sometimes there's one layer of underpainting, maybe an umber, but usually there is just one layer of color paint and every brush stroke that you put down is the correct color and value and placement so that every brush stroke is seen in the final painting. With indirect painting, we build up layers and layers over time. First we solve all the drawing and proportion problems, and then we solve all the value problems, and we wait until the end to work out the color. We build up layer after layer, and every single layer supports the next layers. By the end, you can get a very high level of detailed realism if that's what you desire. With direct painting, you can usually see more brush strokes. You might see gaps between the brush strokes to show the underpainting underneath. And you can get a really, really beautiful effect of the paint, visible as paint and visible as brush strokes, but also showing an illusion. With indirect painting, we're really focused on the illusion of trying to make the painting look real and very precise and very accurate, and we rarely leave any evidence of the underpainting showing through. Direct painting is much faster, it's easier to sketch quickly, and you can make a painting very quickly, either in one day or a few days. With indirect painting, I tend to work anywhere from 12 to 30 or 40 sessions on a single painting, so it can take a month to a month and a half to finish a painting completely. I do paint with both direct and indirect methods. Some of my paintings are direct and some are indirect. Most of my time though is focused on indirect painting methods, building up these very thin layers of paint and trying to get a very high degree of realism. When I do paint with direct painting, I find that all of the work that I've done focusing on indirect painting, focusing on drawing, focusing on values, and building everything up very slowly, is also simultaneously helping me to get better at my direct painting. I do a few direct paintings a year, and every time I go back to it and try it, I find that my direct painting is improving, even though I spend the vast majority of my time on indirect painting. For this reason, I feel like it's a really valuable tool to learn for the beginner, or for anybody who wants to improve their skills and achieve a higher degree of realism and accuracy in their paintings. Whether you want to work in this particular style, Maybe you like a different method of painting. I believe that studying this method of painting can help all your other methods of painting. 